welcome to KWHE TV 14 Sports. Today we're here at beautiful Poly Lanes for the Lane Number One Modified Doubles event. Hi, my name is Scott Mitomar, and here with me today is Glenn Azumi. Well, Scotty, once again, Poly Lanes produced a decent shot for all of us. Uh, 266 with a high game today by Sahiane and Scotty Barra. 718 by Daryl Okamoto. The highest series for the team today was 1395, which was myself along with James Canteri. But once again, just because you're the leader doesn't mean you're going to make TV. No, that's the hard part. You go into the Baker style doubles match play and it's anyone's game at that at that That's point right. in time and then you know maybe glad this is a modified double maybe you got a little tired because of your yeah. extreme age it could have been scott but that's okay you got revitalized and we can do the opening together but in our number one seed i think we this guy still has energy we have the father and son team of keith Hiani and sai Hiani. well keith once again is a hall of famer with 15 titles sai is looking for his first title today they average 214 they say they want to win for father's day um and of course you know this is all a tribute to Vidit's breakfast so scott they averaged 250 during match play wow. so i think we need to go to Vidit's place for breakfast i did have a little sliver of her uh, of her apple and I, oh. I threw a double after that See? but it, i didn't go back for more i should have <laughs> yeah i ran out of gas too See the second today, we have the team of Mike Okutani and Daryl Locomoto. Well, they say that they want to control ball speed, have fun. They're defending champions. In fact, I think two times already. Uh, Mike has three titles already. Daryl is the Hall of Famer with 10 titles, averaging 210 today. And uh, they're the one that knocked us out. Well, you know, don't feel bad. That's a tough team. And they, they both great on this condition. They go up the boards, and I think they're going to have a nice shot on this TV pair. I think so. See the third today, we have the team of Alan Sugawa and Pat Sugimoto. Well, this is a team, they have great teamwork. Um, they want to make the proper adjustments today. Alan has one title already. Patrick has nine, so he is going for his Hall of Fame title today, averaging 209. And, you know, I kind of like this team because they've been together for a long time. Well, they're pretty confident because they, you know, they feel they match up and bowl in a style that's very complimentary to the lanes today. And that's what it is. It's always about matching up, especially finding a line quickly on TV. See, the fourth, we have the, another father and son team of Clayton Mizo and Jared Mizo. Well, they say they want to pick up their spares today. Uh, good follow through. Uh, Clayton has one title already. Jared has four titles. They're averaging 209. And I could swear during match play, I could hear Jared said, Dad, I should have let you anchor. <laughs> well, that's what happened the last time they won over at Schofield Bowling Center. So this team is a dangerous team. That's They've right. won before, mm -hmm. and they do it again. Seated fifth, we have the team of Dennis August and John Kurishige. Well, this is a team that they always seem to appear. I mean, they're, they're always there. They said, let's pick up the spares today, use experience, because they are former uh, champions. Uh, they have eight titles each. So these guys know how to bowl. They're averaging 206 today, but, you know, they're going to go straight up the board, Scott. Well, the only reason why their average is low, because they hit the pair 17, that we hit, 18. the late 17, 17 18, was a brutal pair, and they won with a 170 game. Right. If they bowl on any other pair, they would have seen it higher. Much higher. Yes, but, you know, they're a dangerous team, and they shouldn't be overlooked just because they're in the fifth position. But it should be great action today. We'll be right back after these messages with our first TV match. Okay, here we are at Poly Lanes for the lane number one modified doubles event. I'm Scott Mitomar. Here with me today is Shirley Kato and James Kenteri. And here we go with our first match. And we have the team of, let's see, who's up first? August and Kurashige. Looks okay. like Dennis is up first. Mizo and Mizo. So here we go with Dennis August up first on lane five. Dennis August bowled games of 208, 174, and 221 for a 603 series. Dennis is married to Marlene. Their children are Nadine, Alana, and Hamkeo. Well, nice starts strike. out with a big strike. So what's the story about long drive to bowl bad? Yeah, when I ran into Dennis earlier, uh, Friday night, I think it was, and he said, yeah, he was bowling, but he was worried about having to drive so far to bowl bad. Oh, okay. I said, well, just don't bowl bad. And look, he's on TV. And here's Clayton Mizo 
part of the father and son team. In fact, we have two father and son teams today. Clayton bowled games uh, 172, 210, and a 257 for a 639 wow. series. I think that's Jared's score. Yeah, that is Jared's score. Clayton bowled 190, 179, and a 242 for a 611 series. Oh, pretty good. I'll forgive you, James, because you're left-handed. <laughs> That's an excuse that covers a multitude of sins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and here we go with Jared Rizzo. Now this is modified doubles. So we have an open player with either a senior or a woman, but there's no women today on TV. What happened? Oh, wow. You're right. And this is a baker's format, so the bowlers are going to alternate and bowl half a game each. Well, modified doubles means an open player with a senior or a female. So, uh, John, John Kurishige is up, currently averaging 207 with a lifetime high of 218. He has seven 300 games. He has eight TV titles. 30 times on TV, too. Wow. And I believe he and Dennis have won a modified doubles title before? Uh, maybe they? once or twice. Uh, <laughs> but they're, they're a really tough team. And, and, you know, both of them are edging their way to the 10 titles, which is... That's right. Both of them with the eight, yeah. eight titles. Today, Dennis August and John Krishige both first-round match play against Sibaro and Karata, winning 192-151. to 151. And then defeated Kalaloa and Foss in the second round of match play, 177 to 152, giving them a total of 1655. Team average of 206 today, seated fifth. Clayton's up now. Clayton's married to V. His children are Michelle, Kim, and Jarrett. He wants to say thanks to Bruce Inafuku, Wayne Miyamoto, Air Bowl, and Mako Kawayashi. And he and son, Jarrett, also have won a modified doubles title. Yes, I believe that was at Schofield. Today, the Mizo family shot 208 to 153 against Horyuchi and Yakman and won their second round match play 215 to 179. They shot a total series of 1673, averaging 209, and they received four. Well, Clayton cross lane gets the spare. Son Jarrett coming up now. His special thanks go out to mom and dad, Keith Odette, Ryan, Tristan, Lance, Keith Miyashiro, Jarrett Hayashi, and Vasim. He is a full-time student. He has three 300 games and four TV titles. Wow, that ball just checked up. Uh, you know, the outside part of the lanes had, had some dry area there today, James. There was burn on the outside of the lanes. It looked like he missed that shot wide and the ball went left. There's a lot of play on the lanes by now, and the shot might be moving more, more left for the right hand. Ooh, open frame. 67 in the fourth. Uh, that's going to hurt with August and Kurashigi working on a turkey. And John, up on the right lane, is married to Tracy. They have a son, Jaren. His thanks go out to mom and dad, Jody Yamamoto, Dennis August, and his family and friends. John has seven 300 games and eight TV bowling titles. Well, John and Dennis always seem to go well here at Polynes. Uh, Former champions here, and uh, part of the keys was to pick up spares. Cross lane, pretty straight for the spare. No problem. This Pro Shop is located at the Fort Shafter Bowling Center. For the latest bowling balls and accessories, see Ray Elena Busakao over at Bees Pro Shop. Or call them at 847-0950.
Very smooth, very solid. And here we go with Dennis' shot. That's, that's a pretty frozen rope there. Pretty tight line. Clayton's been drifting high on his last couple of shots here. Let's see if he adjusts. Okay, gives us some room. Solid. Oh. You know, it's it's not often in in a, in a high level of sports. Uh, we're gonna get to see a replay of the shot here with our lipstick camera. That's flush. But how many sports, you know, can you competitive, compete at a high level, father and son? It's great to see. Watch the roller. No. Yeah, this is not our only father and son team. We have uh, Keith and Saiyani right. coming up. I thought it was really nice after the second round of match play to make TV. Jared came up and said, I'm glad my dad is good. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go with the Miss Tenpin again on lane five. Remember last week, watch the shot. The ball is going to hit the lane, and it, it hydroplanes through the front or the head of, heads of the lane, and the ball goes to the channel. If you were watching last week, John Perto, our champion, missed three tenpins all on lane five. Right. And this is the characteristic of poly lanes where we have a set synthetic front of the lane or the heads. Then after the heads is a uh, maple wood and there's a few feet where it's spliced into the pine. So there's three different surfaces and the ball is uh, transversing here. And uh, there's another lane that does that too. James, you know, want, want to know what lane that, that is? Uh, lane 21. Oh, I don't know. Could be, but I know lane five, uh, lane one does that. Going for the 10 pin. The ball will just skate off into the channel. Then you try to square it up and go left. And no problem for Dennis, though. 22 pin lead. Okay, the clock and trophy shop is your one-stop award headquarters. Need custom trophies or medals, engravings, plaques, ribbons, award clocks or radios. Please call the Clock and Trophy Shop at 845-0900 or see them at 214A Sand Island Access Road. Ooh, oh, another. not giving up. They're trailing by 53. 53. You never know. You never know. Shot's going to be a little high there. Two pins going to the side, tripping the first seven. They like the lipstick camera. I, I think it's a good one. <laughs> Jared flushes a strike on lane five. Yeah, that was no question. And they still have some life. Not out of it yet. Yeah, 215. They can still finish with 215. August and Kushigi has been at a 228 pace, uh, meaning if they strike or spare each frame. But if they open, if they have one opening for the next three frames, Mizu and Mizu has a chance. And you never know what the lane's touchy. The middle's not that oily. Yeah, we bowled on it all day, so you know they're starting to break down. I mean, we saw Jared miss the 10 pin. I'm not saying that John's going to miss the four. He won't miss the four. You better not. <laughs> Don't let me down, John. Okay. <laughs> Got already enough, enough people hating me today. <laughs> I don't need the Kurushige family. 